this is hot. This is like real hot on the bottom. Okay. I'm like stalling. I know. I know you're waiting, right? You're waiting. I'm stalling. I get it. Look but how that thing looks in your hand. Look at this thing. No, come on. Look at this thing. It's a work of art. But I'm gonna try to take it down, bro. Let's take it down. Let me spread my legs. Get get in the stance. <laughs> balance myself. That's a winner. That's a winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Touchdown for the home team. That is phenomenal, man. Yes. Hey friends, Greg Hudson here, host of America's Best Restaurants, and we scour the country and we check out hidden gems and some local favorites. Well, we're in London, Kentucky, just off of I-75 at the Old Town Grill, but there is nothing old on the menu, man. Mike is serving everything up from scratch. Wait until you see this sinful chicken dish we're about to try. Oh, and by the way, a half pound burger that is then topped with brisket, onion straws, cheese, and barbecue sauce. It's all going down right now at the OTG. OTG, man. Old yes, Town sir. Grill? Yes, sir. Tell me about this place. Well, OTG is the place to be. That is a fact. I mean, I like that, that is that already. Okay. Love the confidence. Okay. Uh, I guarantee you, Greg, I mean, we got the best food in southeastern Kentucky. We have three locations here. Uh, we, have, we, we, we have the freshest cut steaks. Our chicken tenders are cut fresh daily. All our salads done fresh dressings. Of course, and of course, we smoke all our meat. We oh, all our what? Food. Yes. You yes. have a smoker in house? Smoker in house on the property, which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. Ooh. We smoke all our barbecue pork, our brisket, and especially our smoked chicken wings. Oh, yes. That, yes. So, just you might know this about me by now. Me personally, man, smoked chicken wings, it's, in my opinion, the best way to make a chicken wing. It's the only way to make a chicken wing. I like it. Yeah. You can already see what kind of episode this is going to be, right? Mike's got it going on. And it's healthy for you. That's true. That's true. Straight I out of the smoker. That yeah, way. you know, if you, you take them right out of the smoker, they're, they're, they're healthy for you. Now, after we deep fry them and add some bar buffalo sauce, maybe not so much. Put a little but, crispiness on oh, there, you man. You gotta crispy. flash them. Yes. You, you know what I mean? Them. Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, I'm tell, I'll tell you what, man. Hearing you talk about freshness and food, I, I'm just really looking forward to today. Well, hello there. Hi. Well, this here, we we'll <laughs> talk about freshness. <laughs> what is this, man? This is the OTG Loaded Potato Bites. This is actually a trademark dish we've trademarked here at our restaurants. Really? Yes, sir. And and this dish came out about uh, from a cook that worked for us, and we were trying to find a use of leftover baked potatoes years ago. Couldn't find no baked potatoes. We kept having them left over, so we're like, okay, what do we do with them? So one of the cooks came up, so let's cut them up. We put some jalapeno ranch on them. Oh, uh, wow. Put some cheese on them, some bacon bits, throw them up in the melt, melt them a little bit, and then come out and add some uh, sour cream, tomatoes and chives, and some more jalapeno ranch. Well, it's become so popular, there's no more leftover baked potatoes. We have to cook fresh baked potatoes every day. Just for this dish. Just for this dish. And this is a perfect shareable dish. Just to give you an example, it's one pound of, of just potatoes before everything else. So you got about a pound and a half here. Get okay. out of here. No. And then you add in all of the toppings, the sour cream, the jalapeno ranch. There's yes. a, was there bacon bits on there? Bacon bits on there too. Fresh bacon, fresh tomatoes, fresh chives. Baby. You're not gonna get no better than that. Yeah, that's a hefty looking appetizer yes. right and, there. And you know, and back in the day, I could kill that by myself. Well, I, you know what? It's funny you say that. It, you, I'm like, and I was gonna say, and it's probably shareable because oh, it's that yes. heavy. But four or five people. But share it's so that. it's so tasty. I would imagine. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's have a bite of this, if you don't mind, sir. No. Tell me about this jalapeno ranch. Well, this is a signature OTG thing. Okay. And we've uh, we've started making here a few years ago. Uh, add ranch, and then we take the jalapenos and we, we grind them up, we juice them up, we let them sit, and then we make the ranch. Of course, we make our house-made ranch, and uh, we let this make it, and then we have to let it sit for seven days before we use it. Wait till you try this. Hmm. Brother. Is that spot? I see why it's signature now. Ooh! Yes. Just in the back of my palate yes. just now. Just now, Man, you that. saw that happen. That, that was real. That was like visceral. Oh, 
But you know what? It's not too much. It's not. It's just a little hint on the back of that palate to let you know you had it. There's jalapeno in this. But it's not crazy spicy. It's more about flavor, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's the full range. Your mouth has the full range. You got that hot potato, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. And you get the cheese and the bacon. God, so and then good. that jalapeno ranch hits you on the back with that sour cream. Mm -hmm. And it's just smooth. Brother, it's you full know, flavor. Brother, you know food. Yeah, you just, you yes, get it, Yes, I do man. know food. And, we, and fresh. And fresh is everything. Yeah, well, and that's, where, that's what I'm talking about. It, it's all about freshness. You know what I like, too, about this? Um, I think, and this is just a personal preference with potatoes is that you don't skimp on the green onion there. No. Because everything is, is very rich in this dish and that green onion just does something for it. Gives you a different dynamic of flavor, you know? And then some people, mm. if they don't want it, they can take it off. But I mean, this when you, this is a total package. I mean, this this appetizer is one of the best in, in the yeah. best in America. I'll put this up against anybody's appetizer yeah. in America. You're, you're right. And I do this for a living. And you're yeah. right, sir. That is, okay. We got, I know we got more to get to, but oh, yes. I can't stop right now. So um, what else are we going to be tasting today? Well, we're going to taste a couple other dishes. Um, one thing is we're going to taste a, another signature dish is the OTG Sinful Chicken. Oh, man. I mean, sinful it, Chicken? It, it, sinful Chicken. And it is really sinful. Uh, that I guarantee. Oh, if it's okay. following this, this is pretty sinful yes. too. And then, of course, we got. I want you to check out our lounge area, our bar area. And we have a burger. Of course, burgers are a thing. And we, and we have some phenomenal burgers here, okay? We have a we have a brisket burger. We have a, a smokehouse burger. And we have a Jack Daniels burger. And that's something we're going to let you try today. With the Jack Daniels burger? A Jack Daniels burger. Was it, is it, do you make like a sauce with the yeah, Jack Daniels? Yeah, we make a, what's, what's it's called a Jack that? Daniels topping, which you can order that and get on top of your steak, too. Okay. But it's uh, sauteed mushrooms, onions, bacon bits with uh, some... Uh, maple syrup and then at the end when that's all done sauteing and brown it off we throw in some jack daniels on top of it yes did you say bacon and maple syrup yes and then jack daniels mm -hmm. and we're doing that next we're going to do that next brother want a fresh bun huh. if this is where we're starting and that's where we're going next yeah i'll meet you over at the bar i'll see you there in a minute see you boys We are back in the bar this time, and um, you weren't playing with this burger, my friend. No, sir. No, you know, sir. It's, it's serious. So we, we saw the appetizer, and that kind of gave me the inclination. And then I got to be honest with you, man. Like, just listening to you talk about food and the way that you guys prepare things here, I knew we we're in for something special. This, though, are you seeing this? Look at this thing. So talk me through this before I try to okay. get my paws on it. Okay, well this is an OTG brisket burger. Okay. Okay, so you have of course a fresh brioche bun. Love it. Half a pound uh, choice hamburger meat. Half okay. a pound. Half a pound, eight ounces, half a pound. Then on top of that, we, we have our smoked brisket, which we smoked for 18 hours in our smoker. Okay. Well, I was wondering, I, I, I swear I saw that I'm like, that's not bacon. No, it's, it's not it, bacon. It's but peeking it's out. tucked in there, though. It's yeah. just peeking just enough to show you something's there. So tell me about eight, 18 hours? 18 hours of brisket. brisket? Yeah, we smoke our brisket. We buy uh, all-choice brisket, okay? They're about this big. They're about they're about 14-pound briskets. We rub it down with uh, 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 pepper and salt, kosher salt and, and, and crushed pepper. Put in the smoker, oak wood, oak wood, 18 hours. Come out. We want it out about 185 when it comes out. And we stop it and we chill it instantly. And at 185, we take it and we put it in the cooler instantly. Oh, really? Stop the cooking. I mean, brisket, the trick to brisket is you can't let it cook. It yeah. starts to fall apart. Right. So you have to stop the cooking. It's 185. It's not 183 or 187. It's got to be 185. 185. It comes out, goes straight in the cooler. We cool it. Stop the, stop the cooking process immediately. Then we take it and we let it cool. Then we'll take and cut it up and uh, chop it up. So your burger, burger's cooking with a brisket on the flat top. The burger's over here on the char boiler. <laughs> Brisket's on the flat top cooking. Then the, and then the fry guy, he's gonna put some uh, uh, onion straws. He's gonna bread juice some onion straws, some sliced red onions, yeah. okay? Which are oh, sweet. Oh, you're using red onion for Yes, that. there's oh, a red onion. Oh, nice. They're sweet. That's a great touch, yes. man. Yes. That's a great touch. And, and a signature flour. We, we, while that's cooking, he'll toast your bun. And then we start putting all this together. So we'll go, we'll go the burger, the brisket, and then we'll do American cheese. Two pieces of it. Not one, two, okay? And then, we'll put, then we're gonna put the uh, onion straws then on top of it, we're gonna put our house-made smoky barbecue. Oh, I see it. The, oh my gosh. Yes, and we're actually more mesquite barbecue. Really is. Well, yes. I'm glad you kind of talked me through that because as you're talking, I'm like trying to uh, put a plan in place of how yes. 
I'm going to grab this thing and try to take a bite. It's going to get all over you. I don't care what you do. It's coming. It's going to get all over you. You heard the man. I, I think you're right. Oh, and by the way, we got some fries covered in a bunch of stuff yes. too here, brother. Yeah, we have some loaded French fries here for you. You know what? You know what I think is really cool too is that you guys have a smoker back there that you're mm -hmm. utilizing to, to use things in dishes. You wouldn't know that to walk in the restaurant. You wouldn't expect or know that there's a big smoker back there. But it's man, you guys are doing it the right way here. We are, and we're doing, and, we're, and we have great people back here, and we're smoking it every day. Ooh, this is hot. This is like real hot. Wow. Okay. I'm like stalling. I know. I know you're waiting, right? You're waiting. I'm stalling. I get it. Look but, how that thing look looks at, in your hand. Look at this thing, though. Come on. Look at this thing. It's a work of art, but I'm going to try to take it down, bro. Let's take it down. Let me spread my legs, get, <laughs> get in the stance, balance myself. That's a winner. That's a winner, winner chicken dinner right there. Touchdown for the home team. That is phenomenal, man. Yes. That's out of the ballpark. Get That's out of the ballpark. That is phenomenal. Dude, you get flavor. You just get flavor. You get flavors that match. You get freshness. You, man, this guy, this is next level. It is next level. For a that, burger. This is unreal. We'll take that burger anywhere. Yes, anybody's burger. Just like the potato bites. <laughs> I, I was I, waiting for it. Just like You it. were too. Okay. I was waiting for it. I mean, we'll put this up against anybody. Me, me. Come on, man. Yeah. And that's just, we got a whole line of those signature burgers. We got a Smokehouse burger. We got a Jack Daniels burger. We got a, a black and blue burger. We got all kinds of, our, jala, our jalapeno burger, mm. fresh jalapenos on it, fried jalapenos. You know, you said something earlier. And at first, I don't think I really gave it as much credit as it deserves. The two slices of cheese on there, this needs both. I mean, this you need that richness. Yes. This, you get that richness from that cheese. But the two slices, because the burger's so massive, like you need those too, yeah. but man. That's like you've got a pound burger in front of you. Yeah. So we got eight ounces of beef, right? Yes. And then how much brisket? Five ounces of brisket. Get out of plus here. Plus the onions, plus your bun, plus your cheese. Hey man, how long have you been doing this as far as the industry goes? I've been doing this since I was 15, 37 years. Really? Yeah, 38 years now. I just turned 53, 38 Dude. years. You just, you get flavor. Yeah. You just get it. Well, I'm fat. I like food. <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta have good food. You gotta have fresh food. You can't go to nowhere to eat. And you, so many places you go, this it's just you can just tell us there's no love in it. There's you gotta have love in your food. You gotta love it. If you don't love it, then why are you doing it? You know what I just tasted? You're cooking that burger on the flame back there, aren't you? Yes, the char burger. Yes. I'm tasting that char. You tasting like a backyard burger yep. at your house. That's what you want. Yep. I need to give you another compliment, and I don't know that I've ever even said this on an episode before. Listen, man, I'm a food nerd. I get passionate about it. I do. It, it, it's one of those, it's just my thing. You are so passionate about what you do and it shows. It shows in the, first of all, it shows in the flavor that you're bringing out, but also just in the way that you describe the food and you talk about it. Like you, you're passionate about this, man. You're, you're seriously excited. Well, I am, I mean, why wouldn't you be? I mean, what do we spend most of our day doing? We eat. My we guy. eat. This we is gotta my eat. Guy. If you're gonna eat something, eat something that's good. It don't have to be healthy. I mean, son, we got healthy food, but if you wanna eat, eat something. I mean, that you, you can't eat. take it with you. Might no, what you like. enjoy it now. I'm telling you what, man. And see, if you and if you watch any of these episodes, you see how passionate I get, right? How fiery I get. You, sir, are. I love it. Sharing that passion with you. Okay, one more bite. That's you it. Should, oh, I, I can't keep because we got something else coming. Oh, up, we too. got something else coming. We're doing up for some you. chicken. We're doing chicken. some chicken. I have a request. And it's, a, and it's a type of chicken that you'll probably need to go to church on Sunday and confess your sins. You know what? Anybody else, and I wouldn't believe that statement, I would think, oh, they're just exaggerating, whatever. I believe this guy. I absolutely believe. Thank okay, you. one more bite. Mm. That's fantastic, man. It's, it's phenomenal. It's That's great one burger. of the best burgers in America. It is. 100%. That's why we're one of America's best restaurants. Indeed. You see what he did? Look at this guy. <laughs> Mic drop. Okay. Your food is so flavorful and you're so passionate about it. Would you mind? Next dish, can I come back to the kitchen 
with you and help prepare. I need to see this happen yes. firsthand. Uh, we we'll we'll love for you to come back here. Ooh, that see is. the heart of the kitchen, okay. where sure. all the brains are. Oh, and up next, it's we're gonna get some chicken yes. that you're gonna go to confession on Sunday. That's correct. And tell the preacher about. All the way. Ooh, baby, all right. Get your crosses and Bibles out. We'll see you in the kitchen. We got, so we got our chicken on the grill here, right? Yes, we do. Right. And this is what I love, man. Again, it's that it's that char grill, that flavor, that flame that we're gonna get. And I can already see the hatch the, the hatch marks mm -hmm. on the chicken. And the thing is, too, Greg is fresh chicken breast. This is fresh chicken. It's not no frozen chicken. It comes in fresh. That's the first first thing you gotta have is fresh stuff. I love you know, it, man. First up, and of course on a grill that, that'll just burn you alive, as you can see. <laughs> hey, you got a seasoning thing. We talked, you talked about that a lot with our burger. Yeah. The flavor, seasoning. You got to season the food. Got to have it's, it. It's got to be seasoned. It's got to have flavor. The food, you know, chicken and beef and stuff, you know, if you want it bland, yeah, you go to a fast food restaurant. Not here. Play. Not here. Not at the OTG, no. baby. No, you're going, you're going to get seasoned food here no matter what. Speaking of seasoning, you've got like your own proprietary seasoning we have on this chicken, right? Yeah, it's so our chicken seasoning and our steak seasonings are all proprietary made for the OTG. I love that. And, and same thing for our bratter, for all our breaded products, like our fried mushrooms, our gator tail. Of course, we have gator tail now, so. Hey! And, uh, uh, fried mushrooms and our chicken tenders. You know, our chicken tenders are fresh, okay? You know, right. we come in fresh, uh, then we marinate them in a buffalo style buttermilk sauce for 36 to 48 hours. Well, so the chicken, so the fresh chicken, you're you're marinating first. Yes. In in that that buffalo buttermilk. Oh, yeah, that's proprietary. I don't want to tell you all the recipe, but buttermilk for, and uh, and some buffalo sauce. We and we bread that. We marinate it 36 hours, 36 48 hours, and then we fry it up to order. Two orders. You can see there's no French fries around here. There ain't no, ain't no, no bins, it's, holy I mean, bins. No, this, this I, was, I said this earlier off camera. Man, this kitchen is immaculate and everything is fresh. Yes. Like your line, your line back here, full of just fresh stuff. Like you prep quite a bit. Okay. We, we do a lot of prep here because everything's fresh. Everything's, yeah. everything's made fresh, house made. And then, you know, we do it every day. We, you know, during the week, we run three prep people, and the weekends, we run four prep people just to keep up. The volume of food, and we want to make sure it's fresh. And we don't want to be out of so we don't want you coming here at eight o'clock tonight and be out of your favorite item. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? So you know, our ri our ri you know our, our, our smoked items, eighteen hours. Our oh. ribs, four hours in the oven. Okay, we cut all our own steaks, cut our own sandwich. You guys are hand carving steaks here. Yes, hand carving steak. Yes. Get out. You know, it's a sandwich. You know, what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I'll just show you here. Okay. Twelve ounce ribeye that was cut yesterday. Beautiful. Look yeah, got everything beautiful. labeled, look ready how, to go. Look how thick inch thick That's steak. a nice, yeah, that's, that's a, a nice steak. ain't no thin steak. No. That's, that's the real deal. USDA Choice Angus. All day long. <laughs> Can I pay you the ultimate compliment here? I mean this as a compliment. And we talked about your passion in the bar, right? You and I are both passionate, like, food guys. You almost, you're, like, you're almost angry about it. Like, hey, of course we use fresh. Yeah. You gotta use fresh. Like, I love that fire and that passion. Well, you have to, and, and I get upset when people come say, well, you used something frozen or you did this. No, you did. You wanna come, <laughs> and I invite, and that's what, we invite our guests to come back in the kitchen and look. Come that's back there, where'd my burger come from? Where am I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay if people coming back here. I'm not a problem with that. That's a first, you man. I mean, we might come to work. Yeah, you, you, know, but you might put on some gloves and an apron. Yeah, but you're gonna come, but you're gonna come see, see where it's coming from. You're gonna see where it comes from. We just do not want your food to see it just magically comes out of a freezer. It don't happen. I love your fire, man, and your passion. So tell me about this chicken dish because we got the chicken that, well, man, that we're looks doing gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's ready to come. We got. You, we're you doing said something thing. about going to church or something. Yes. Now this is a, this is this is an OTG signature dish. Okay? okay. It's called a sinful chicken. Okay. It's a bed of rice, grilled chicken breast, that one right there, with a sinful sauce, which is Alfredo sauce, spinach dip, and blackened and seasoned mixed together to make a Cajun Alfredo sauce. Okay. On top of that. And let me tell you, there, you will need to go to church on Sunday to proclaim all your sins after Woo! you get done eating this dish. 
I believe you. And in fact, on Sundays, just to have fun with the community on Church Rush, I always like to put the sinful chicken on the chalkboard out front. So when they walk ah, in, after they ah, go to church, ah, ah. they see sinful chicken up there. They're so like, well, we said our prayers. We're good. Yeah, we we're can good have a sinful chicken, chicken no, today. We have chicken that, you know what? That doesn't surprise you. You just seem like that guy. You I say, of course you do. I'm like, of course you put some sinful chicken on we the can, side. We, on I mean, Sundays. we got we to try something out there. You just can't, you know, just sew it up there and put anything yeah. up there. But we're gonna plate it up here, and then we're gonna go out there and try it out. Okay, that sounds great, brother. Man, that smells. Look at that smell. Look at this fresh smell of that. The, fr the spices on that. That's what I was gonna say. Yes. And I, I wish we had smell of vision, but we don't. But what you need to know is that chicken breast, man. You can smell the seasoning, but you can smell that char, man. That char griller. That's key for what you're it doing is. here, I mean, brother. We want that backyard. We, you know what? The fondest memories we have when we was growing up. Family cookouts, reunions in the backyard, at the park, on the grill. Yeah, you're that's right. That's what we have the memories of grandma, dad, things like that. You're not and wrong. And that's what we, when we come here, you know, at OTG, we're just not here cooking food. We're making memories. Yeah. Every day. And that's what we want. We want you to come and enjoy it. Come have fun. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. Well, let's get to some sinful chicken. Let's get it rolling here. Well, we come outside for this one. Nice day, we got the yes. fire going on in the back. And I'm ready to taste that passion you were showing me yes. back there, Mike. So again, let's go through this one more time. I see we got the rice underneath. Yes, sir. Right? Wild, wild rice, uh, chicken breast. Okay. And then we got our sinful Cajun sauce, okay? Sinful Cajun, Cajun sauce, sauce. I love sinful. that. Yeah, we take fresh spinach dip, fresh Alfredo, add blackening season to it, we heat it up, and then we put it on top of the chicken, and then we add more blackening season on top. I guarantee you, this will not disappoint you when you try this dish. I just love that it's it's sinful, that you call it sinful, yes. and then you write it on the sign on Sundays when people come in after yeah, church. I mean, I got to mess with the church crowd just a, a little, little bit. bit. Have some fun with them. Uh -huh. hey, oh, you get you a little bite too. I don't want to sit here and eat oh, this by no. myself. First of all, I don't I'm think already I hungry. We looked at all this food and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh man, this chicken. So what do I do? What do you recommend? A little bit of rice? A little bit of rice. A little chicken? A little bit of chicken. Oh, see, see, ooh, I got a piece with that char on there. Can you see that? Right there, look at that. That's what you want. You want to bite with that char on it. And that sauce. I mean, yeah, that, that sauce. sauce, man. I can already yeah. smell Wait it. Wait till you ooh. taste that sauce. And this is an Alfredo mixed with a spinach dip? Mm-hmm. Our house spinach dip we make in house. Make our Wait, Alfredo. you're making your own spinach dip here? Oh, yeah, and our own beer. I guarantee our beer cheese, we ain't even got to that yet. <laughs> Our beer cheese, I'll put against anybody in America. I'm in the world, probably. Yeah. But yeah, we make our own, well, our own spinach dip. Yes, sir. Uh, dude. Yeah. Yes. That. Oh, my God. Yes. That That's no joke. That, that is that's, next level. Yeah, there's just, there's this, this, I, I don't even think Gordon oh. Ramsay has anything on that. I don't think so either. Yep. Like Mike, come on! What are you doing? You make your spinach dip. Come on! It's delicious. I would say another word before that, like Gordon does, but yeah. family show, yeah, it's dude. Again, we keep harping on this, but I can't help it. It's the freshness. I can tell that you make that that um, spinach dip from scratch. That chicken breast. You're gonna make me go buy a char griller now, just for my kitchen. And then we'll that fat is some spinach dip. Oh, please do. Don't You don't have to tell me twice. This is excellent. Yes. This is yes. excellent. Is this, uh, we have some local press here with us. Nita's over here. She says it was one of her go-to dishes when she comes to dine here. Mm -hmm. Is this, does this seem to be a favorite amongst this is our, your guests? This is our number one chicken dish in the restaurant. Is it really? Number one on our, on our dish, chicken. And then after that would be chicken tenders. But I mean this, and we're in the hundreds here every week of, this, of just this dish. Hundreds. hundreds? Hundreds. Yes, in this restaurant, yes. And you're doing these fresh each day? Every day, every time you want them. What, a, what about the tenders, too? The tenders, are you you, you guys are breading those? Yeah, bread those to order. Of course, we marinate them, and we bread them, we bread them to order. So if you come in and you order a, a sinful chicken, we're going to cook that piece of chicken fresh. And if you order uh, chicken tenders fried, we're going to bread them, and yeah. we're going to fry them and cook them to order about four or five minutes. Then we're going to put them with some french fries or something on the plate. But it's again, it's, it's, about, it's about the quality of the food. Everything's about quality. It doesn't matter uh, what the name is out front. It doesn't matter how pretty your building is. It's about the quality of the food. Right. 
you're absolutely right. And I got to tell you something, man. Not to be undersold here. Your proprietary seasonings that you're putting on things make each dish. Mm -hmm. And you said something, I don't know if we said it on camera yet, but it's worth repeating if we did. The way that you make your seasonings too, you said there's no salt, right? No you, salt. No way you, oh, you don't like over salt or over season yeah. things. Yeah, because you go to places and you know the salt, you just taste salt on everything. Yes. Salt on everything. So there's no salt in these. These are all fresh seasonings, all put mm. together. Same thing with our our, 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 our burger season, our steak season. And you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a form of Montreal, but no salt, no MSG. And you know what's key about that? And I'll let you guys in on something here, just a little personal note. Um, I have quite the aversion to salt and to sodium, like really bad. Like I can't take a lot of it, I'll swell up. I, it's it's a thing for me, it's, a, it's and this is great. I mean, this, for someone like me, who has that aversion to salt and sodium, dude, this is, this is you what eat, you we look every for. Day. Yeah, you eat it every day, every day, and not body. Golly, because, you know, sometimes with salt, for me in particular, and I'm sure a lot of people out there, you, you know, you, if something's over salted or too much MSG, my tongue becomes like oh, sandpaper, yeah. it comes like a cat tongue. It's just, it goes numb, it, it hurts, it's, I just can't do it. It but your seasonings, no, your seasonings, man, are just, golly, this is incredible. This is really great, man. Everything that you, I think one of my favorite things about you two is no matter what dish we put out there, I'll put it up against anything in America. Let's uh, go. Let's go. It's like, I mean, you're you're in the ring waiting for the bell. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just, I love just it. naturally, you have to be like that because I don't want to serve, I mean, at the end of the day, it's my family's name on this place. Good you know what I'm saying? My boys work here. You mm -hmm. know, you know, I have a six yeah. year old daughter and 11 year old son that goes to school here and they know OTG. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 so we want, you know, it's just not me, it's the employees. I want to be happy. I want to, when a server comes to your table to sell you something, I want her to be 100% confident that she's going to serve you the best food in America. And that, well, that's why we're here because mm -hmm. you, you are one of America's best restaurants. Where can people find you online, man? Because I'll tell you what, you're coming down 75. You, this is a must stop. Just put it on the map. Well, you know, we're halfway between Canada and Florida. <laughs> That's one of the first things. So, so if you're on your way. You don't, you don't want your way to Florida, you can have our halfway point. Okay, we have three restaurants, but this restaurant here is located exit 41 and 75. So yep. as always remember, the easy 41. And then on, on, online, we have our own website, otongirlinc.com. Okay. Our menu is available, our pictures are on there, gallery. Of course, you can order online with us too. Or our Facebook, uh, Old Town Grill. And of course, we have Old Town Grill London, Corbin, Tazewell. We have three locations. <laughs> Instagram. And, uh, and, and of course, you can always just call us. Now, are, are all of your, I mean, I know there are several Old Town Grills. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna ask this just because I'm kind of obligated to. Can we expect the same type of quality dishes every in every of. single OTG? Every one of them. So it's not just this location that you're doing this, you know, where everything's fresh, everything's special like this. We're replicating it three times a day. Gotcha. Everywhere. And then at times too, we also have a food truck. We also take the food truck out on an event. Of course, the season's pretty much over now. And we do these, we do some of these same dishes. And we do catering and things like that too. And, and we're, you know, we do catering. I'll give you an example of the Corbin Arena for all the music acts coming from the city of Corbin, Corbin Arena. Uh, next week, we got Judas Priest. We just did uh, um, all uh, well, Travis Tritt. Travis Tritt. Tritt. We just did Travis Tritt. We've done Snoop Dogg, uh, uh, Nelly, <laughs> Nelly. Uh, no. all those, all, yes, Kevin Costner. They've all had this food. Are you serious? You, the reason why the arena has these bands now is because the, the production agent realized who's catering the food. And you might think that, that that's, a, that's a, a story. That's not. I've worked for WWE for seven years, man. Our catering in each building we went to was incredibly important. Yes. So for Axe to come to town, this is actually a really, really big deal. I just love that you serve Snoop Dogg. I did too. I mean, it was a little smoky in there when we went in there. With the food. It was smoky. Hey, but... let me get that sinful chicken there, Mike. What's up, dog? Let me get that sinful chicken. That's my Snoop Dogg impression. It was terrible. Dude, this is next level, man. Thank you well, so thank much for having us no, out today. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you're on your way to Canada or Florida, this is the halfway point. Or if you're just coming down 75, man, Old Town Grill is where it is at. So come see Mike. Come say hello. I'm Greg Hudson. You know that. We'll see you next time on America's Best. Man, this is good. Golly. I'm trying to say, why are you? We're done. I'm eating now. Show's over. Stop it. The show is over.